It's Monday, Thursday, and we are reaching the climax of Holy Week. Every day when I come into my office, right behind me sits a row of chalices that I've collected from around the world and a row of crosses on the shelf above it. Uh, these are crosses and chalices from all over the place. Some of these were given to me as gifts. A number of them I've collected in my travels through Israel and Scotland and Latin America and Africa. And all of them have a story and all of them speak to the importance of this holy meal that we'll celebrate tonight. And then again on Good Friday, the power of the cross. This is the night when we remember Jesus breaking bread, taking a cup, and reminding them that their life was in his life, that their life was in their love. As a matter of fact, Maundy Thursday it comes from the Latin mandatum Thursday, meaning this is the day I give you a new commandment, that you love each other. And nowhere do we see that love poured out more than in that holy meal and then again on Good Friday as Jesus willingly goes to suffer and die on a cross. He refuses to fight back, but he knows that the most powerful force in the world is and always will be love. Nonviolent love, unconditional love, uncompromising love, a love that will hold us and carry us through the hardest of days and through the best of times as well. I invite you to worship with us tonight on Monday, Thursday, again on Good Friday, either at the service at Manresa at noon outdoors as we walk the Stations of the Cross, or join us as we uh, celebrate in the evening again at 7 p.m. And then, of course, come back for Easter Sunday, because none of this makes sense without that.